be honest. How well is that New Year's resolution going? How many gym days have you skipped? Still eating fast food? What about water? Have you had any today? Don't worry. Me too. With all of life's ups and downs, it's only natural for some things to fall between the cracks. Now that I'm done attacking you, today we're gonna to be taking a short intermission on the mundane process of removing an engine and working on some interior work on the Scion TC. I think every now and then it's healthy to switch up your hobbies. Take a break from the monotony of life. Hello if you're new, welcome back if you're old. For the small collective of you still watching my videos, it seems like you guys are more interested in the documentary vlogging type of video versus the techy informative side. So despite me making these videos for myself, I suppose I can cater to you guys occasionally. I don't give up. This time and weather worn interior has seen better days. I really thought I was doing something with this black and gold floral interior, but at this point, it just looks like some stained drapes at my grandmother's house. Today, I'm gonna help you get your interior up to date. Granted, I'm no seamstress or upholsterer, but neither are you. So try not to get too judgy. Ideally, I want a pattern that is simple, something a little less busy. Over the years, my style has changed drastically, and I like an interior that reflects that growth of the car and myself. But every time I come into this place, I can't help but get distracted. There's so much to look at. All the sales. Look, if you've been to Hobby Lobby, you get it. It took me a minute to find something that didn't look like it belonged on a quilt or in a back alley sports bar. But when you know, you know. Now for the removal of these decrepit interior pieces. Surprisingly, both the center console and the door cards only have two screws in each, and they're pretty easy to take out. Once you've removed your main interior components, you want to line up your piece of fabric to match the piece that you'll need to upholster. Be sure to apply a generous amount of adhesive spray. Too much, and it's gonna leak through your fabric. Too little, fabric will lift off of the piece you're trying to improve. You'll want your new piece of fabric to be cut a little bit large to be able to be folded over your piece. The excess fabric will also come in handy if you make any mistakes, seeing as this is probably your first time. However, if this isn't your first time, you can use the fabric that you previously cut 
as a guide to make sure your new fabric is cut to the proper dimensions. Try to be as certain as you can before you make any definitive placement. Any slip-ups could be your only shot, but hopefully you've cut enough extra to make up for any mistakes you make along the way. Make sure to take the time to smooth out any lifts or bubbles around the placement of your fabric. Depending on the shape of your door card, some pieces of fabric will be harder to stick than others. In this case, you'll need your stapler to firmly attach them to your door card. Once everything is firmly attached, you can go ahead and clean up the excess fabric. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was impressed by how well this turned out. Leather is not as malleable as fabric is, and I definitely wouldn't suggest it for your first time. But what do I know? You could surprise yourself just like I did, and turn out with something great. If you've pulled your car apart a few times, you might be missing some of these screws. But certain screws go in certain places. And I tried to keep them in order. With the additional and likely thicker fabric now on your door card, you'll need to force it into place a little bit. Once the door card is snapped back into place, those two screws will go right here. Despite this leather not being a perfect match for my current seats, I'm so much happier with the way this interior looks. I hope this was helpful in giving you guys some ideas on how you can dress up your own interior. My name is Jay, thanks for watching, and stay cruising.